Hey there, it's Melissa with melissaesplin.com and calligraphy.org. As requested by a couple of you guys, I am sharing how to use the Phantom Reflections Liner. This guy's a little bit of enigma. It takes a little bit of setting up to do, but you can totally do it. Now, um, I've mentioned that in the past review of the We Are Memory Keepers Laser Liner Square, this is not as great as a laser square. And that's simply because you don't have to look through this dark glass. But unlike the laser square, you can actually use more guides than just straight lines or angle lines. You can actually create full blown pieces of artwork and have it basically projected onto your paper. So, you know, it kind of has a different purpose than the laser square. It's actually really, really old school technology. It's basically using the concept of a teleprompter, but in a stationary object to create your angle lines and draw lines for calligraphy. Um, basically, it broadcasts the image of your angle and guidelines onto the paper, so it's really great for dark or very opaque papers. You can use this for drawing or calligraphy, so it is kind of a multi-tool in, in a way. Um, really great for, say, like watercolor or opaque um, painting projects as well. So um, it's a bit tricky to get used to. Now, the problem with this guy is you do have to have really good lighting Otherwise you have a really hard time. There's some eye strain that's involved. You do need a fair amount of light and you may have to adjust your settings in your studio, add some extra task lamps in order for you to get that correct lighting situation. All right, so it comes with these two plates and I'm right-handed. You're going to reverse this for left-handed. Um, it's got a stand and the bulk of the stand goes to the left and then you have your opaque white portion, and then you have your translucent dark piece, and this is what allows you to transfer everything over. Now, the guides or the artwork, if you choose to go with artwork on this side, um, it needs to be reversed. So it's this is gonna mirror everything. You're gonna have to use this portion to raise and lower your lines, and what I've done here is I have, this is actually, all reversed here, but I'm flipping it over to the other side. You can faintly see the lines on the other side. Now it's been corrected. And what's going to happen here, I need to align everything up. If this, this little V shape is in the wrong angle or proportion, I'm gonna have some issues with just aligning everything up and everything's gonna look like it's barely on a slant, not necessarily on a purposeful slant when I'm writing on my paper. So I get the piece of paper with the correct lines on them and I just line it up and I'm looking through this portion of the glass and I'm just cranking this down to lower my guidelines until they match up. So I am there. They've been matched up. Again, like I mentioned before, this is like, a teleprompter so you need to be looking through this right here onto your piece so if you're left-handed you're going to be flipping this and you're going to be looking through this direction because I'm right-handed I'm gonna be looking through this way so I'm going to take away this guide sheet and then I'm going to line this up now if you're doing actual wedding invitations you may have to you know mark where you're going to put your envelope every time just so you have lots of consistency but for now i'm just going to lay this envelope down here and i'm going to work on writing it out and then you'll just sort of tilt your head to the side hold my paper down and write out my fake address right here
And there are actually two sizes of this guy. There's the, this is the small and then there's the medium. Um, ref, it's called the reflections liner or the phantom liner. You can kind of find it under both search terms. And um, hopefully that was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned every week for more videos and check out melissaesplin.com for freebies, printables, and check out calligraphy.org if you'd like to learn more about how to do calligraphy. I teach brush lettering and modern pointed pen calligraphy based off of copper plate foundations. So, and those classes include personal instruction and personal feedback. So be sure to check those out, calligraphy.org, and find me on Instagram. I'm at melissifer and at calligraphyorg. Stay tuned and see you later.